Good afternoon friends. Today I am going to discuss about credit note and debit note. Normally in general accounting terminology credit note is where we intended to refund our customers from their invoices and then we can create a credit note which will give us an option to refund to our customer while in case of vendors we create debit note so that we can ask refund uh, from vendors accordingly Odoo acts but here Odoo has uh, given the similar terminology and similar format for both customer invoice and vendor bills the same credit note okay because what stock is debit and we have creditors which are credits so creating a debit note means asking for refund but here uh, in odoo we do have an option of debit note if you go to apps and search for debit you will find debit note module once we install it then i will show you how it works in odoo uh, the keyword or terminology is same but the purpose is different in odoo okay so let me tell you how it works normally we create a purchase order from our for our vendors like for vendor 3 i'm going to buy a product let me check the type uh, it is buy it is fine and i'm going to buy 10 units 800 rupees each i confirm the order and now during receipt let's say vendor has sent me 12 units so i am accepting those 10 units against 10 my was my demand but i am accepting 12 units so here you can see uh, the quantity was 10 received 12 and bill 0 as soon as i create bill according to our policy it generates a bill of 12 and we confirm it so here when your policy is like whatever is on received you generate a bill but now let's say we change the policy of the product the product was this and for my purchase i want to set my policy to what is received right so let's see how it is making a difference now i am creating a purchase order for that product where my policy is on the basis of ordered quantities again i am ordering 10 units at the current price of let's say 1000 each i confirm the order and i create a bill and then i also make the payment because my policy is i first create a you know po and then i register the payment also so it will register payment with whatever gst is and now let's say my vendor is sending me more quantities than demand okay this is a different type of product and so it has created you know uh, such things so let's take another example uh, let me take a different product sample one which is storable and for purchase it is on the basis of ordered quantities now let me create a PO my new vendor 4 and I am buying S1 now let's say I am buying 20 units at 20 rupees each I confirm the order without you know receipt I can create a bill because my policy is different and let's say I am making an advance payment also against my vendor bill so this transaction is done and now during receipt 
what I find is my vendor has sent me 25 units my demand was 20 but he has sent 25 in in good terms I have accepted it so now what to do here I still can create another bill but in vendor bill Odoo gives an option of debit note as soon as I create debit note because previous bill was for 20 quantity and now extra quantity received is the reason and I will get them and I will copy the line and it will create a call and I will create a extra debit note with five units only and I confirm so this debit note is nothing but a vendor bill only in Odoo terminology so here with this purpose you can use a debit note inside Odoo vendor bill and then you will find on PO21 you will find two bills original 20 you receive 25 and you build 25 against two separate bills so you can see the original bill was here and this is the extra bill which was based on bill number 5 where extra quantity received and then you can register the rest of the payment to vendor so that's how the debit note works uh, normally in Odoo hope uh, the purpose is clear and then you can see a debit note here which is connected invoice or connected vendor bill only hope this helps many people to clear out the terminology Odoo use uh, rather than you know general uh, accounting terms thank you very much